Hi everyone, in this next video we're going to be self-hosting code server and this is what it's going to look like. It's essentially VS Code in your self-hosted server. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is add a project. So let's click add. Let's call it code server. Select the production environment. Click add a new resource and search for code server. Click that and then click on your server that you're going to be deploying to. And that's it. I'm going to rename the service name to code server. Also rename the domain name to something shorter. And we are ready to deploy. So let's go ahead and click deploy. Now that our containers have started, I'm just going to hit refresh. You can see here that it says running, starting, and just now it changed to healthy. So you want to wait for it to be healthy before you actually try to access this URL. So let's go ahead and open the URL. And we are almost ready. So as you can see here, it says, please log in below. And it wants us to use a password that was set in the environment variables. So let's go back here. We don't actually need to go in the environment variables tab. The uh, password is available right here under the service stack. So go ahead and copy and paste that into the window. So once you have pasted that, you're ready to click submit. And just like that, we have VS Code hosted in our self-hosted server and we're ready to code. So the first thing I'm going to do is just change the theme to put something dark. And um, the next thing I just want to show you is that it does not have node installed. And so just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Deno and run a demo project just to illustrate uh, that uh, VS code does in fact work here and you can install things. So the first thing we're going to do is install 7-zip, but before we do that, let's run sudo app update. And right now you can see that it's asking us for the sudo password. So again, we're going to go back into Coolify and grab our sudo password that was set in our environment variable. So copy and paste that in the terminal window. So now we have run sudo app update. Let's install 7-zip. With 7-zip installed, we are ready to install Deno. So go into the documentation and just copy this command here. Paste it in the shell. And just like that, we're ready to run the demo Deno project. And uh, so we can either open a new shell or just run source bash rc dot bash rc. So right now we've rerun or refreshed this terminal. So let's check to see that deno is installed. It is. Then we do deno init hello world. And now we're going to cd into hello world. And as you can see here, the directory has been updated. We've got hello world with a main.ts file. So the basic command that we're going to run is dev. So we're going to do demo deno task dev. And you can see here it's running the script deno run watch main.ts. And that's it. Just to illustrate that uh, the code server does in fact work. It's VS Code in your browser, and uh, I'll leave it up to you for the use cases that you can think of for this. Uh, one that I easily can think of is coding on your iPad or on your phone, for instance. So that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.